everybody, welcome to this very special day. We have the ZD Racing EX07. Finally, we are here. Is this area big enough for you all? We're hoping it's going to be big enough at least. Right, let's get into this, get it set up, and let's hope the ESC doesn't blow. Okay. Power is on. Let's attach them. Let's hope no big bang bang. Ah! Oh no! Come on. Right, we're ready for power on. Woohoo! There we go. Right, let's see what she can do, shall we? Right, let's go. You ready, Colin? Can you keep up? Hopefully. Jesus! Jesus! All right, I think we're going to get to the uh, 100 meters straight away, don't you? For those that don't know, it is redonkulously hot in Malta right now. We had a power cut last night, so we're all overheated and grumpy. And what a horrible, brilliant day today. I mean, seriously. Get further back. I don't want to kill you. Okay. We ready to go? Ready. Go! I'm nervous! Oh my god! Did you see that? What the f It's coming back! Okay, you can see that it is set to zero. We're gonna go to track and start. Okay, we're gonna wait until we've got some signal. Starting. 
Let's see. Maybe get out of the way, Colin, for the return journey. Like sideways, please. That way. What do we reckon? Hundred and three. <laughs> right, okay. Start again. Still 103. I find that hard to believe. Where is the, is it up there? Records. Yep, so 103 both times. Shall we try one more time? And three again so 130 kilometers per hour is slightly wrong I mean I don't think you're gonna get a much better area to drive this are you okay right let's get set up for the next thing Slow, Colin. Hello you beautiful beeps, welcome back to the blue mat and what do you think? What do you think about this crazy car? Almost too fast? I've been thinking about this over the whole night and I was getting to the point of thinking, do you know what, it's almost too fast and then I thought, but I live on a small island and there's not that many places, places that you can drive it that fast. Um, all other countries have long stretches of roads, big car parks and the likes of, so you don't have to go full throttle all of the time. <gasps> I'm sorry, that was wrong. I apologize. <sighs> What's wrong with me? Um, now, I wanted to bring you back to the map rather than just say goodbye at, at the area that we were at yesterday because I wanted to give you my honest thoughts after I digested them overnight. Um, let's get into it and then I'll explain. Uh, these things that you've already seen the video for, do not pull like that, please. They were never designed for that. I've already pulled one off because I'm an idiot, okay? 
very helpful though I didn't lose any yesterday and that was with four cars so here we go such a big car all I did was uh, give the shell a wipe I haven't looked in here after the fact other than just obviously taking off the battery let okay let's try and bring you down without ruining everything Are we okay we'll leave it like that don't move hopefully there's no vibrations from anywhere um right Colin crashed it um he hit he actually uh, lost control so he braked hard and it just spun on the dirt and went in at the front here that what you see on another video that we've done and the only damage that was done by the looks of it is a small scrape here I and mean, then it went in quite hard you'll see on the video and i've had a look from what i could see and the shell obviously protected it it bounced off the shell which is absolutely fabulous to see um the, the car you may have noticed on the video i was a little bit excited uh, you know i've wanted this car for a very very long time is it worth the money 150 million percent yes without a shadow of a doubt it's like nothing that i've driven before in all of my rc hobbying years it accelerates so fast if we were somewhere that was less dusty it would have taken off so much quicker it, you almost feel that if it had gears it would still be wheel spinning on fourth and fifth gear it's got that much torque to it i mean the tires have not been worn down as much as what i expected actually uh the grip is just unbelievable in fact uh when you're a sort of half throttle and you're trying to pull away slowly um if you floor it if you go to full throttle the front wheels take control and pull it along whereas if you're sort of on half throttle and getting the feeling that the rears pushing it almost to one side you know what i mean so we just pretty much floored the throttle and off it shot um have we had any problems with this car not one the ese did not blow up as what i was told would happen and it was hot yesterday um on the weather report it was 35 36 c obviously it was in the sun as you saw but it felt like 44 the tarmac was so hot and we didn't have any problems it didn't shut down it didn't do anything other than run like a swiss clock there's nothing wrong with it at all there you know there's some scrapes it's heavy there's some scrapes that you would expect um but we had no problems with worrying about it flipping even when it went into the curb i i was watching it and it sort of went into slow motion i expected it to um sort of flip and it didn't obviously due to the weight of the thing uh i i i don't know what more to say about this amazing piece of kit i know the price is out of the reach of a lot of people but then i would say save up it really truly is worth it tell all your friends and family that you don't want birthday gifts you don't want christmas gifts you just want to save up for this car it, it, it is amazing now currently um uh, banggood have taken this from sale and obviously i want to say a thank you to banggood again because they gave me such a huge discount off this but as i want to then put you know some affiliate links into the description they've removed it from sale unfortunately but I've spoken with my rep and it turns out that this was uh, just basically because they're having so many problems shipping it to people. So they're fixing that problem by sending the actual car to Europe warehouses and to European, I apologize, and to uh, the American warehouses. So it will be up for sale again, which is absolutely fantastic for those that wish to order one of these. Um, you can today off Banggood order the roller version which is obviously without the electronics so without the motor without the ESC uh, with it uh, yeah the servo doesn't come with it I don't think I, I'll have to check that one two servos by the way uh, and obviously definitely not the batteries and then you can just put your own electronics in it which actually I did look at doing myself because I you know as it took me a long time to get this whole car here I was looking about just buying the bits myself and I've just spoken with my rep literally five minutes ago and i said how about we put some kit together the motor the esc the roller car and the transmitter and whatnot and and see whether we can make it go faster than this one yeah baby uh it, it's an amazing car 
I truly, truly love it. Uh, it, it, it is, well, my expectations were here and I thought they were quite high and this car has gone well above it. Now, I thought I would be scared of this. At the time, I was very excited, as you can see, um, and there was a slight nervousness around it, uh, concerning it, but I sort of told everybody to get away and that took that sort of nervousness away. I was more concerned about uh, driving the GLB Cheetah because that's also fast, but it, it, um, it's just uncontrollable, where this, at no point did I feel that I did not have control of it. We had no problems with the transmitter. I, I'm pretty sure we could have driven much, much further than what we did, but we, that was 100 meters that we drove without issues. So that's absolutely fantastic. I made no adjustments on the car. I didn't adjust any of the shocks or anything like that. We drove it as it was when it came out of the box. In fact, I broke my rule of not tightening up all the screws and the bolts, which I should have done, but I didn't. But there you go. And then, you know, other than a few scrapes and scratches, it's still all in one piece and it still looks gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. I love these little touches and whatnot. Even the drive shafts, uh, dog bones have the XO, X07 written on it. So that's brilliant. Still recording? Yep, good. Okay, well, I hope you liked the video. Apologies about the drone flying. This is only my second time dry, uh, flying that uh, FPV drone, and I am new to it completely. But, you know, we got a couple of good shots out of it, which was good. Um, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, use the links in the description below, because that helps the channel survive. And trust me, right now, we are struggling surviving. Even though I'm sat here with such an expensive car, that was the last time I got paid a large amount of money. Large amount. 250 from YouTube and since then they've changed all of their rules and pretty much cut all of my revenue by 50% So I'm now working full-time on this channel for about a hundred and thirty euros a month Which isn't enough to keep it going unfortunately, so something has to change Drastically, so that's those that are using the links helps me dramatically because it means I can buy the small bits and bobs that helps me make videos so Please take care of yourself. Stay safe. Bye-bye.